when we first uh, when we first started playing around with the idea of the story of 13th Street and trying to encompass it in one one phrase, we said uh, actually one of the fellows that we worked with, um, Max Kaiser, came up with "Awaken Your 13th Sense," and this was based on some research that we did. There was a an article in Time magazine in the 1950s about some research that was going into the, the senses beyond the original, the, the five that we're all aware of. And that just the, the, the sense of feel was too broad a category, that feel can be experienced in so many different ways. That, you know, certainly there's the, the, the reaction to putting your finger against something hot and feeling it. But what about the feeling that you get when you get off an escalator and your body feels like it's still moving even though you're standing on flat ground? That's a totally different kind of an experience. And, and what about the feeling when you close your eyes and you walk towards the wall and you know when to stop because you feel some sort of an energy between the wall, which is really close, and your nose? That's in another different sense that humans have. So they took the original five and they broke them down. And the 13th one that they came up with, they called equilibrium. And for us, that encompassed so much that we stand for. Um, it's, it's balance in life. It's letting your stress just go away when you come to 13th Street. It's, it's the role that wine plays, and alcohol to some degree, in helping you to relax and to socialize. It's the joy of being at the table with good food and good wine and friends or family, and just celebrating those moments and savoring them and letting them last as long as they need to last, rather than rushing through them, brown bagging every meal you have so you can get straight back to your computer, straight back to your laptop, whatever the case may be. Um, good wines, natural wines, wines that are priced at the right point, all of that helps to contribute to balance and equilibrium and something that just feels right. And, and we liked it. It's very romantic and maybe a little naive and, and, uh, and uh, a little fantastical, but it really, in its purest sense, honestly, it really, it really stands for a lot of what we are at 13th Street. It's, it's bigger than just, you know, a consumer good a commodity. It's really a lot more about sort of life balance and friendship and the important things. The things that have been celebrated around wine and around tables for probably seven or eight thousand years. You know, I mean, when they first started making wine, I don't know that they were drinking it in a hurry on the way, you know, to herding the goats back up because they got out of the gate. You know, th there was time taken to enjoy it with food and, and probably with somebody sitting beside you and you were probably talking about it. And we, you know, we evolved and we got really good at that. And it's a big part of what the Europeans celebrate, that time at the table and that getting together. Um, and I think that's really important to us. Make sure to visit 13thStreetWinery.com and join our newsletter. Watch more videos, download complete stories, tasting notes, accolades, and buzzworthy news. And to order your favorite wines.